What you guys been asked to make a video on free diagnostic software for hard drives and how to test hard drives to see if they're failing or if they've got problems with them. So what I'm going to do is make a video on showing you how to use free software uh, to actually test the drive to see if it's in good health. Now I'm not suggesting that you start testing your drive if you've got noises from the drive or it's really in bad condition because you may have only one chance to get the data off and by testing the drive you're going to put too much stress on that drive and it could end up failing or dying so that's not what you want to do okay so the first thing to remember before we cover all this is to back up all your data before you start messing around with the drive and if it is making noises either try to clone a drive or try to get your data off it as soon as possible okay now let's have a look at some of these software. Now the first thing to remember as well is Windows already has a tool built into it. So you can come up to my computer here, right click on the drive itself, go properties, and there you can see under tools, it's got error checking. Now this has been in every single type of Windows operating system. You just click on error checking, put a tick in, check for bad sectors and click start. And this will check your drive to see if it's got any bad sectors on it, okay? Now that's the first way of doing it. Now there is other tools out there you can use. Now one really good tool for home users is this ESUS um, Partition Master tool. It's a home version. You just open it up, click on Partition Manager. And again, all you need to do here is select the drive that you want to test. Now if we want to test the C drive here, we come on the C drive and also come down to Check Partition. Checking the partition is going to check the uh, partition properties. Also, use the uh, Windows check disk, which you see previously. It's going to pull that up and do some checks with that, and also do a surface test on the actual drive itself. So you click OK here. This will actually run some checks. It's not found, though, errors, so you click OK. It will then call upon uh, the Windows check disk tool, which is built into Windows, and you can run a check disk, OK? Now it may want to do this on the next reboot, so all you need to do is put Wi-Fi yes and then push enter. And then it will do some uh, surface tests on the actual drive itself, and all this should come up green if it's in good health. You can see it's checking for uh, bad sectors and whatnot. Now there is tons of tools out there that do this type of thing. Hard drive regenerators are quite a good little tool to use for bad sectors. Now once you start seeing bad, se bad sectors on the drive, you want to start thinking about stopping what you're doing and replacing the drive, okay? Now I know people are going to say you can run the drive with bad sectors, but you're always running it at a risk. So when I start seeing bad sectors, back up all your data and purchase a new drive. So I'm going to cancel out of this and close this off. Now another tool that you can use, which is a free tool called D, uh, DTI Surface Scanner. You need to run this as administrator. And what this does is basically the same as the other tool really. It's going to do a surface scan on there. And all you need to do here is mount the actual drive itself. And you can see I'm using VirtualBox. Highlight that. And then you need to run a scan. And this will run a surface scan on there and check every block and then see if there's any errors on that drive. Now this is all well and good if you are able to get onto the machine, maybe you've uh, got a corrupt Windows or something and you can't get on there. Well your options for that are toasters or i.e. Uh, external caddies where you can take the drive out if you're capable of doing that and you're confident and put it in there and scan, it, scan that or you can use bootable CD uh, volumes to, to boot up to that and then uh, run scans on that drive then. And this will give you a report of everything that's going on with this drive. Okay, so let's exit out of this. Now my preferences are, is to stick with the manufacturer's software. If you're gonna run checks on drives, I always like to try and use the manufacturer's software, i.e. if it's a Western Digital, I use Western Digital software. And the reason why is they're gonna know how their drive works much better than anyone else. And they make the software to test and diagnose their drive for you, okay? Now each manufacturer will have their own piece of software, Samsung, Western Digital, Seagate, Maxter, all these will have their own software that you can use to test your drive with. So let's uh, have a look at how we can get information about the smart 
and how we can get information on what drives in there. Now there's loads of tools out there you can use to actually get information without even opening up the PC. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so I'm back at my normal machine here now. I'm going to open up a Crystal Disk here. Now if I open up Crystal Disk, you'll see that it's given me some information about the uh, temperature of the drive, also the health status, which is in good, and also you can see it here. And it will give you a load of information down here. These will change colors if there's something wrong with it, okay? It also gives us loads of good information if you're a technician, that is, and you want the serial number and it's under warranty, you, you can actually send it back. Now I've hidden the serial number there, but basically this will do checks for power on count and also power on hours, how many hours it's been running for. Now you can see it says Western Digital, that means now I can get the Western Digital software and use that to run checks on there. Now whether you've got these incorporated in your own live CDs or whether you want to use Hiram's Boot CD that's got them all built into that as well. So let's take a look at that software. Okay so this is Hiram's and what we need to do here you can see that we've got Seagate Disk Wizard right on the uh, front here but if you go into DOS programs and then hard disk tools you'll see a load of tools in here you can actually use to look at your drive and test your drive okay you can see there's a, a surface one there and there's a bad sectors one here so there is different types health and temperature you can go down to more and then you will see all the other tools here Seagate tools also Western Digital uh, Maxter Power Max and so on okay now remember you can actually download the download these tools off the manufacturers website so you don't need to download Hiram's boot CD if you don't wish to you can actually download these off the actual manufacturers website on their own as a standalone tester okay and as you can see here we've got um, IBM Zatachi Samsung Fujitsu and so on okay so let me go back here and I'll just show you what what Western Digital looks like you just fire it up just like this and then you select what you want to select so you've got the actual lifeguard tools and also diagnostic tools I'll just show you the lifeguard for now and click on one and then agree to the terms here and you can see that this is what it's going to look like when you do a diagnostic test on the actual drive itself you just select the diagnostic one and run a test let's have a look at a bootable CD now to see uh, what we can do if we want to use a bootable CD mini tool uh, partition wizard you can use so I'm just going to load this up you've seen me use these tools before okay select your uh, size that you want I'm going to click on one here and we'll let this load in and all you need to do here is click your partition what you want for some reason I've got two little pointers here but you want to look at the black one that's the one you're looking at and um, we want to do here now is come up to partition here and you want to do a surface test on there and this will do a surface test of that drive and that's another way of doing it you can use the bootable environment like mini tool to do that for you okay and that will just do a surface test okay but again my preferences are using the manufacturers tools ie um, the actual Western Digital or Seagate to do testing of any drive okay now again there is tons there and I've not probably covered loads of them there's probably loads more out there that you could use if you wish uh, this is just a selection of some of them so let's uh, stop this so that's basically how you can test your hard drive with free diagnostic tools on the internet now as I said there is loads of them out there so you choose which ones you want to use but my preferences are stick to the manufacturers uh, tools and you won't go far wrong okay now whether that be on Hirons or standalone ones you download off the site okay that'll be fine by me but other than that I think that's going to be about it for this video now obviously 
I can't stress enough, if the drive is failing or it's really bad, then do not use these methods to test the drive. Leave well alone and send it to someone who knows what they're doing to get the data off for you. Because once that dies, it's going to cost you a lot of money to get that data back. Okay, so bear that in mind. And thanks for watching these videos. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hit that subscribe button, guys, if you haven't already. And uh, keep track of my new videos that will be coming up real soon. So thanks again and thanks for your support. Bye for now.